students CFI May 2017 results are out our students have made us lot proud they have done phenomenally well especially our four anchors uh, till now so uh, congratulations to all those students who have passed and to our four anchors till now so we have first of all uh, Vaiva Agarwal he scored 27th rank then we have Rishang Jain he was also our IPCC student and also our anchor he scored 23rd rank we have Mukaram, our IPCC student also, <coughs> he scored 15th rank and finally All India ranker 3rd this time is there from our classes uh, Krishna Gupta, so <coughs> he scored 601 out of 800 he is also 1st in Mumbai, All India 3rd in uh, CA final May 2017 exams below is the glimpse of my interview with Krishna Gupta Hope you will learn many things and I hope that that will go in a long way in helping you to clear out your exams. All the best. Have a good time. Thank you. Hi students. Uh, congratulations to all the students who have passed. For others, try to work harder next time. So our CFN results are out and we are proud to have uh, Krishna Gupta, All India third ranker, who is here to share his views. What all has happened since last two days with him. So welcome Krishna. Thank you sir, thanks. And last two days since 11 o'clock, what happened with you? Share it with us. So the first thing that happened was uh, President of the Institute calls me up at 11 o'clock before the results are officially declared on the website. Okay. And uh, he congratulated me for getting all India ranked third. Okay. So that was like, I think that memory is etched forever. So my parents jumped in joy. It was a delightful moment and I don't think I'll ever forget it. So how many marks did you get? I secured 601 out of 800. So that's 75%. An exemption? In, An exemption in all the subjects. All the subjects. Okay. So here we have All India Third Ranker. So Krishna, it was your 3 years of articleship. Yes. With 3 years of articleship you have managed your studies. Tell us a little bit to the students how they should go about it. So, my IPCC got over in May 2014. Okay, you got a ranker? Yeah, I got all in a 19th rank at IPCC level. Okay. And uh, so after that, the uh, article ship starts. So it started in around August, September. Okay. And uh, that's a three, three year article ship that we have to complete, right? So first year, I was in uh, CNK and Associates. Uh, which, which is a partnership, mid-size partnership firm in Mumbai. Okay. And for industrial training, I am going to Edelweiss Financial Services. So I was in the equity research vertical over there. Okay. And uh, during during that period, I also did my graduation. Okay. So I completed my uh, third year become last year, and I am a graduate also now. Okay. So uh, yeah, and it, it's it it gets a bit hectic to manage at times because you know you have classes, you have uh, college. Then you mm. have to attend article shift, there's work pressure. So, but it, it was a wonderful journey. Okay. So, I guess your father is also a chartered accountant, right? Yes, yes. So, it runs in the family? Yeah, he's, his name is Mr. Paul Gupta. He's okay. been a chartered accountant for more than 30 years. He's into practice. Aisha. So, does that, did that help you? Oh, of course. He's always been my motivating force and uh, he's guided me throughout all along the journey also. Okay. And he's given me some quick tips and you know you grow up uh, hearing those uh, discussions with chart accountants you really have so your mindset is framed that way so it helps that Okay So out of all the subjects okay I'll just like to ask about two or three not all so how much did you get in say costing? Costing I got 83 83 and, that's pretty really good Yeah and uh, Anil sir, I am sure everyone knows, is the best faculty for costing. I did costing at Ravi So, costing, uh, in fact, uh, I uh, costing and OR both I learned from Anil sir. And, uh, you know, co actually costing, uh, you have to be, you have to do a lot of smart work for costing. Mm. Because uh, the questions that are tested are usually innovative. Because it is, yeah, those are not from the Yeah, those the are not from theory. any material or classes textbook or practice manual or study material. So what you have to do is that you have to build your concepts very strong. Sorry. Your basics should be very strong and then you will be able to solve all types of sums. So I think Balansar did just that and it was a very nice. 
And so one last subject I'll take say SFM. How was your SFM? Oh, How SFM. How much you score? Score the highest? I scored eighty-seven out of hundred in SFM. Uh, that was my uh, highest scoring subject in the okay. CFM. Eighty-seven is very good. Uh, so and uh, I, for that also I I attended Rahul sir's uh, classes. He is uh, faculty at AJ Education next only. And uh, apart from that, I did the practice manual thoroughly. Okay. So BM is required, I guess, for all the subjects. Yes, and. Uh, Even if uh, theory also is advisable, but for practical subjects like costing, SFM, accounts, and direct tax, you cannot. You just cannot appear for the exam without going through the practice manual. It's a must read. It's a must read. As there is one thing that all the students can start to learn that apart from whatever you all do, you will require some practice. Class will help you, but I guess it is your self study also that yes, will yes, matter. Definitely. Yeah. No matter which classes you join, or just try to make out at least. One hour a day or two hours a day for self-study from the very beginning. So that will keep you in the game, and you will not have much work pressure. And so you were studying from the time your articles were started. Yes, hours, yes, hours. yes. Like uh, one hour every day, maybe on weekends, three to four hours, let's say. Okay. And then gradually as time passed, those hours increase. Okay. And finally, in the preparation week, then you should have no distraction. Then your only agenda should be studying. So, a idea, how many hours you used to be studying? I used to target around 12 to 14 hours a day during the preparation week, four, four, two and a half months. Uh, so you were playing also something at that time, which gave you the for having some kind of a musty. So yeah, I am keenly interested in music. Okay. So I uh, to relax. I used to listen to a lot of music. I I used to play the guitar also. Acha. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So that helped me de stress. I, I used to talk to my friends sometimes and go out with them for a coffee or something, just just for an hour or so. Yeah. So, you know, to relax my mind, to get back. Frankly, you cannot study for 14 hours at a stretch. That's something yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, possible yeah, for you. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay. So, since last two days, how many calls have got? Oh, that's 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 So oh, what I'm planning to do is uh, get a good job in a professional organization. You know, so I can. You don't want to be practicing in the far. No, practice doesn't really excite me, honestly. And I want, uh, I want a place in a professional organization that actually grooms me, that helps me build my talent and core skills. You know, so that I can move ahead later. And so the current aim plan is to get a good job. I'm not planning to study further. I might study further, but definitely not at this stage because. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, I, I don't want to work right now. So, which was the last movie you saw? The last movie I saw in a in vacation. I saw Hindi movie, and I loved it. I thoroughly loved it. And that was after your exams. After exams. Before yeah. your exams. Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, tougher than question. Yeah, exams. I think this this question is tougher than the CA final paper. So. Well, I think there was one uh, movie with uh, Katrina Kaif and Siddharth Malhotra, Prabhu Bharat, Prabhu Bharat. Actually, I've seen yeah. that. Yeah, I've yeah. seen. I, 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 though I regret it, but yes, I have. No, I have not seen that. Movie. No, yeah, I, I think you shouldn't. Okay, but as like you know, uh, do classes like us do they really help? Yes, see, definitely. Uh, classes, sensory is important, but you know, to get those building blocks right. To get your concepts clear, if you have some help, some external help, you know, some in a in a way of a good professor, not even a professor. I would like to call these people mentors. You know, they guide you. They are they are there for your problem solving. Your the classes approach that they use, the methods that they use are are the most effective methods. Okay. So I think yes. For uh, and actually, that is all kind of a discipline, like because if suppose you are at home, you might not study for three hours. Exactly, exactly. So that discipline, your... that discipline kicks in when you see your friends studying along with you. You Correct. tend to get into that, and uh, you know you just need a base to start off with, and that is what I think classes will provide. Will provide. So I'm I'm never telling that it's a substitute for self study. That yes. has to follow. Self study has to follow. But uh, classes can be a good starting point. Okay, and like before your study week started, what you all had covered. Which subjects like you know you had in, done in classes or by month? No, means when till your last three months or three. Correct. Aapko kitne months ka? Around four four months. Four months. So four months 
से पहले तक आपका क्या क्या खत्म हो, हो चुका था या थोड़ा बहुत ही करिए the pm as well as a plus yeah, yeah. pm and plus as a fm and this uh, call so i had done, i done it once so okay. i just uh, read it once so that it become very easy this guy you got it this guy got 74 awesome. yeah, so uh, again uh, uh, from ej next guy did the call so so that helped a lot and uh, this guy got 74 and which else something that i cover over here I I was uh, done a lot with law okay. because law was completed in classes also and I had gone through the books and PM. Okay. So I think uh, around three subjects I was uh, I was very three. confident. I was very confident and other subjects I had attended classes or I had read once or not. But that needed brushing up and. Uh, but out of eight, three subjects were yes, pretty good. Yes. Yes. I think there are only five subjects, so that's not so, a work which is too exactly. much. Exactly. So that. So around one month, let's say you can devote to these three subjects again in the revision time in the last four months, and the remaining three months you can just focus on five subjects. So that becomes okay. very easy. Okay. And uh, during the study leave, how is to be planning your day? Suppose you have to divide yeah. your day into few parts. So you wake up in the morning, and then uh, I you're not start. a guy who studies in nights. No, uh, I try to balance. I and I. In fact, one piece of advice to everyone who is planning to be one: no, get good sleep. People start cutting down on sleep four months before the exam, four and a half months before the, before the exam. It's a test match. It's not a T20 match. Very honestly, see if I can. So you have to keep you have to keep yourself in good shape. So if you start cutting down on sleep, you just sleep for four hours, five hours. It's not enough. Any that disturbs your concentration. Yes, that disturbs your concentration also. You will not be able to focus for the whole day. Okay. So I think around six to seven hours sleep. I, I always used to keep that much at least. And then I used to wake up. I always started first thing in the morning is theory. Because boring. Yeah, boring. And, and at that time concentration level is concept. very high. So yeah, I will yeah. I will remember stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So so let's say audit or iska. So something of that sort I would pick up in the morning. And uh, I would do it for three to four hours uh, without a break in the morning. That that first session in the morning is very crucial. Correct. And if that goes well, you your mood for the day is set. You are already into that studying zone. Okay. In the first three to four hours. Okay. So yeah, like that first first session I used to have a theory session. Okay. And then uh, in the next part after breakfast, I would prefer uh, to solve some something of accounts or FM or taxes. It was uh, later half. Yeah, it was the later half of the day, like post lunch. Then I would like to prefer. Uh, okay. So okay. yeah, okay. but okay. at that time, you know, for solving some, you already have those concepts in the back of your mind. You're just practicing. So so yeah, that can be done. Uh, and that is a good time actually to end off exactly. your day. Exactly. Exactly. But then you're not much tense up because you've done your big kind of uh, hard exactly. work in the first part. Of the day. Exactly. And every day for the last ten minutes, I just used to quickly revise what all I have done during the day. So if not maybe the answer at least I would try to remember the key areas that I have done. Okay, so in audit, let's say I have done SA two hundred, I have done SA two hundred and ten. So just a broad overview of what was there, what I understood out of it, and uh, in accounts with some I found difficult. So even if everyone does that for ten to fifteen minutes a day, you know you your day your day is yeah yeah it, it gets concluded now very fast. So were you preparing your notes also at all? I used to write down a lot in my textbook only. The okay. textbooks which I was referring, I used to highlight. I used to write down in that. So okay. I didn't prepare a lot of notes. I used to have a lot of markings in my textbooks. Okay. And how were your last like last twenty four hours before the exam, before each and every exam? Yeah. So last twenty four hours, I see completing the entire curriculum is very difficult. Very honestly, you have to be very selective in what you study. So in those last 24 hours, what I tried to do was for subjects like SFM and other subjects where formula involved. Mm-hmm. So I used to first go through all the formula that I've done throughout my okay. curriculum. So start start off with that, or in let's say amalgamation or consolidation for account. So just go through the procedure that is there to solve the sum. Okay. And then that will be followed by some stama questions and difficult questions that I marked during my preparation. Okay. So when while I was preparing. I would mark the important questions or the questions which I could not solve right in the first time okay. in the PM or the textbook itself. Okay. So, so while revising, I would look at those questions first 
in all the chapters and if time permits then I would go on to uh, doing the other questions from the time. Okay. So that's a nice tip from uh, Krishna. And Krishna, how like uh, how were your lectures uh, scheduled with us? If I can just ask. So in in the beginning of the class, we got a proper timetable uh, during which we like. I knew my timetable for the next nine months well in advance. Like from this in this month, from this day to this day, this subject is going to be done. From this day to this day. So I had that clarity in mind. So you know that really helped. I prepared. I tried to manage my timetable accordingly. So suppose for 15 days I am having costing over here. So I used to make my timetable like that, that after those 15 days get over, I am revising costing. Okay. So, so you know, having a timetable like that really helps. So, and uh, the class got over on time, so that gave me a lot of time for self-study. Around 4 months. Yeah, right? around 4 months when the preparation leave, I was almost entirely at my home. There was no class over here. So I was done, I, the, the portion was completed when in time. So you know that gave me an extra boost for self-study. And when you were solving the practical questions, were you reading them? Were you writing them? So, uh, example, like, say yes. uh, FRC yes, consolidation. Yes, yes. Consolidation, first time when you are doing uh, either on your own or maybe in classes, that time effort should be to do it on your own. You know, you may not bother about the formatting or uh, being very neat yeah. and all that. But you should at least try to get the final answer on your own. Okay. Like your balance sheet should tally if you are trying to do consolidation okay. and you should get the... the not much worried about the heading exactly, and the classification. Exactly, not much worried about the classification. Just trying to get the split of the reserves right and yeah. everything like that. So just try to solve it quickly on your own way. Mm -hmm. And try to mark when you get the question wrong in the first try. Because there will be questions which you get wrong in the first try. Right. Just mark them. And you will get some questions right in the first try itself. Mm -hmm. So those questions you may not revise. Yes. Because exact because you have done it right in the first time, there's a high chance that you will do it right again also. Okay. And the important question then when you go to the first revision and the second revision, mm -hmm. what you should ideally do is you should go through these marked questions first. Okay. And those questions first. you should try to solve actually. Yeah. Uh, like you should try to solve it roughly to get the final answer on your own. And the other question you can just read through them. Okay. So in that approach, and I think from the second revision onwards, if you, if you go for the second revision which is recommended, then you should just go through all the questions. And in the second revision, you should not try to solve anything. Okay. And how good is your speed in writing? Is your handwriting very good? My handwriting is not very good. But Does it matter? Really? No, Does it doesn't no, matter. No. Uh, it should be legible writing. Right? Exactly. Uh, Mine will be much worse as handwriting. <laughs> Writing should be legible. Please, in exam, don't waste time in drawing lines or anything. I didn't draw a single line. I didn't even draw the lines to divide the balance sheet into two parts okay. or something like that. No, no line for particulars and rupees column. Or you know, most important aspect is the content that you. Yeah, write. yeah, yeah. Actually, most people waste a lot of time in all such things. Yeah. So then, and towards the end, so you could uh, complete all your papers. Yes, I could complete. Uh, so there were uh, papers where I couldn't attempt a question of five marks or six marks, but that was because I didn't know what the solution is. But I could complete on my way of it. Okay, so speed wasn't a yeah, problem. Yeah, speed. You, you know, attempt should be there. If we come, uh, attempt the whole hundred mark paper, there's a bright chance that we will go yeah, through. Yeah. So you should be, you should not be very far that you attempt it wrongly also. So, okay. but uh, it should be decent to complete it. Okay, and now you must have heard that the CA course is changing now. Yes. So almost yours are the last attempts actually which are going on for the old yeah. course. So if suppose you were still there, okay, uh, for the new course, out of six papers, which one you would have selected? You have option like IFRS, Capital Markets, International uh, Tax, you have Risk Management, you have law and finally you have the multidisciplinary cases. So which one would have? So I think I would have gone to the capital markets before because I personally prefer finance. Yeah, yeah, I have been in equity research and I love finance myself. You've done CFA level one. Right? Yes, I have completed CFA level one also. Yeah. So and uh, I would have done and apart from that, if my second choice would be IFRS. You know because that that will really help uh, in future, in future in also. And it's very close to India's also. Yeah. So I don't think if you're preparing for accounts in days, I think it will be more or less some help will be there. Eighty to ninety percent. Yes, exactly. Only the carbon exactly. Carbon. Just carbon carve outs and some advanced practical guidelines that they have. Yeah. So I think 
uh, out of these two people, I would choose one. Okay. And uh, as a CA as a career, has it been a tough journey from CA till now? Now it is. Like I guess you have completed four and a half years of yeah. your life being oh, with CA. So four years. your age now is what? Twenty one. Twenty one years. Yeah. So. I entered when I was seventeen years old. You know, very young. From kid to a man. Yeah. So. Yeah. And there's a lot of diff- difference when you come to CPT. In CPT, what was your score? One eighty four. One eighty four. I missed rank by a mark. I guess now they all don't give ranks also. Yeah, yeah, they stop giving ranks for CPT. Okay. And from CPT to IPCC itself is a very big thing, right? Yeah. I think that is the bigger thing as compared to IPCC to final CA. Exactly because you know you don't get three years of time for preparation. Yes. And the uh, the difference between CPT portion and IPCC portion is huge. Huge. CPT portion you have just four subjects and they are just the basic level to test your conceptual plan. Actually, that is the entrance. Exactly, that is the entrance exam just to test your basic caliber. Correct. Right. And uh, I think the first CA exam truly begins at the IPCC level. Correct. Right. So when and that is why I think the institute has stopped to give ranks because exactly. it is just an entrance. Exactly. So even now the the MCQs pattern will start to change now under the new yeah. rules. So now we're starting. They are trying to bring in subjective type questions also. So that's yeah. a good move. Uh, so that students get prepared for IPCC in advance. Yeah, right. They get a feel of how. So that's a big change from MCQ to subjective type subjective. questions and solving full length questions. So yeah, and time is not there. Time is less. So you have to be well prepared to manage your time very well. Okay. And one big question. Does article should help when you try to do your studies? Oh yes, uh, for me definitely help in uh, subjects like accounts. So mm-hmm. I was part even in, uh, in all my places that I worked, uh, I was there in accounts team. So that helped me, you know, that built the foundation for accounting standards. And so I could prepare very well. I, I was through with all those material and. Uh, uh, for taxation also, I've done some work. Uh, like uh, I was there in the taxation team for a few months. So these, you know, it should not be known. On the job learning is the most effective way of learning because that you will remember for a very long time. Yeah. And that that most likely will be able to reproduce well also in the exam. And because these days I start to actually meet many people who try to think, sir, we should try to study first, and then like you know, article should will waste our time. Frankly, it's not waste of time. So. Uh, I would just like to pose one question to whoever states this: Do you need three years for preparing for eight subjects really? I don't think any. I don't think any. Any course in this world. Any course in this world will require three years for studying just eight subjects. Yeah. So you may argue that you may uh, instead of four months, you may want four and a half months leave, and that that's still acceptable to some level, yeah. but. But not going for articles for three years and just studying because you are actually wasting your time. You know these are your building years, okay. and after you become a chartered accountant, there is not really much you can ask from your employer because they expect certain basic things for you okay. to learn and come into the organization. And that is why the article ship was started actually. Exactly, exactly. So, and see, is the only course that offers it. And uh, that's a that's such a good platform for us, you know, to showcase our talents, to build our network, also you know, to grow ourselves. But it's a tough life. Uh, see, if I were to comment, it's tough, but it's really enjoyable. Now, when I look back, when I was a student myself, definitely even I found it very tough and challenging to manage time. But when I look back now, I think that is the most wonderful thing that I did. You know, you you learn how to manage your time. You learn prioritizing things, right. and you get a lot of discipline in life because you're not wasting time. You're very focused towards that. Right? I want to do my articles. I want to study. Right. In the morning, you come to the class. Yes. You go to the office. Yes. You have time, then go back and sleep, and then again come back next morning. Correct, correct. Yes, so that adds a lot of discipline also. I, I think it's. And good. actually, when you know, we only try to feel that time was good when you have reached this time. Correct, you correct. You know, when the time is going on, you always yeah, feel like yeah, you know, yeah, I know. it's the worst time. Exactly. There is a lot of frustration and depression while you are going through that phase, but just keep faith in yourself, and uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. I hope so, and I think all our current students who. Are going to be giving their exams, so many things to be learning from Krishna. It's only that you know this consistent hard work that is there from last three years. So you don't wait for your study leave to actually come. You start from the day you have started your article ship. As you start your article ship, you should also try to get on with the study, say for half an hour or forty-five minutes, and gradually start to build your uh, other studies on that. 
and very important that you prepare your own notes. Faculty is important as he also told, but what is most important is your dedication, your self-study and everything else. And uh, to end, we wish him all the best. He has like you know, uh, produced All India third rank, first in Mumbai. So congratulations to him and all those students who did not clear this one piece of advice that Krishna would like to give. Yes, so just uh, like I say, just stay focused, keep doing things, keep practicing, and uh, I'm sure you will definitely succeed. Uh, manage your health and time very properly. These two things are your best friends during your preparation. Week. Your health and time. Don't try to waste both. And you know, eat healthy, exercise, stay cool, and you will do it very well. I'm sure. Thank you, Krishna. One one thing I'll add. Uh, there is no shortcut. So, if you are planning for a rank, you are planning to pass, I think one thing that is required that boss, you should do everything. Whatever is there in the course has to be done by you. You cannot try to think that this thing has not come in the last two attempts, it will not come now. Okay, you should try to do each and everything, whatever has come, whatever can come, okay, or whatever is close to whatever is there in the modules. And I think your exposure to articleship will always try to expand your knowledge and that will always help you in the future. So thank you Krishna, it was great to have you. Thank you. All the best.